What is up YouTube, Johnny here again today. And uh, I think it's time to start modding the GR. I've kept the stock for a little while. I have had fully modded ones. I wanted to hold off on modding it because a lot of people like to do their first mod is the little side markers, this little thing here. And I, I want to make my first mod something special uh, on my brother's Fiesta. I think the first mod was basically the turbo. So it was, it was quite a big mod to do like right off the bat. And I want to do something similar. Uh, I'm not planning on boosting this car. The one that's going to be boosted is this one eventually. Again, the turbo kit is sold if you guys haven't seen that video. And uh, this car is going to stay NA, but I want to, I want to make it a little bit better for track. So the plan is don't go all crazy like that one. We're probably going to do some wheels, probably going to do some suspension, probably going to do some brakes and like a full exhaust system. There's no tuning software for these yet. So there's no point in uh, boosting it, I guess, or going all out because you can't. It's just impossible because there's no tuning solutions. So later on, we will probably go E85 and then tune it and then hopefully make like 250 wheel. And I think that'll be a great number and just kind of like enjoy it as a seat time car. So let me show you guys what we're gonna do. Since we're gonna be making this a seat time car, uh, there's just one slight issue with the FRS that on track and that is the brakes the brakes apparently get these get a decent once you start putting like nice brake brake pads and fluid and yeah i mean that's a cheap way to to be able to get a little bit more performance out of brakes get a little bit longer life but even i saw even with good fluid and like for example hog pads or just some sort of performance pad uh i was still actually overheating the brakes at the track when i took my frs last time and these are literally the same brakes they they did not change they're exact same thing as they were before on the FRS. So I'm planning on taking the brakes off of this car. This, these brakes probably have like 10K miles on them. They're still fairly new. The, they are case sports, which are local to us. We have them on the Fiesta ST and they work amazing. We took it to the track, never had one single issue with a brake fade. As you can see, they're uh, two piece floating rotors, very thick. It's got some nice wind tunneling, I guess you could say. So they went, the, the air comes in through here and just escapes through here, kind of keeping that nice and cool. It being two piece, this is billet aluminum. And then having such a big caliper also helps out with all that. The pads in here are still the street pads, but I've seen that the street pads with this, this brake setup, <laughs> it works amazing. Like I had them on my IS300. That's how I learned about them. I had a black set on my IS300. That was my daily. And I loved them. The braking power was was completely different. I know a lot of people say, oh, it doesn't make your braking stronger or nothing, but trust me, these brakes, they feel completely different you, if from any other brake. It doesn't matter if you just do pads or whatever. I did test fit the STI wheel. Uh, this is a ERZ TS, if you didn't know. I know it doesn't look like it, but barely clears. I think I have maybe like, like three mil, four mil. So it's gonna be perfect because it's gonna be like filling in that whole void. And before upgrading wheels, I did test fit some wheels. I could probably throw some pictures up. G37s, Wed Sport CC 105 Ns, which are both track wheels. Those weigh like 17 pounds. I don't, I don't know how much these weigh because these are tens, uh, but they're also very, very light. Like you could literally just grab it with one hand, no problem. But the stock wheels and stock and the brakes that are gonna be on there. I think this thing's just gonna look amazing. Eventually, we'll throw some coilovers on there, but for the first track day, I wanna basically test it stock apart from the brakes. Cause I know the brakes are gonna fade, so I wanna have enough braking. Uh, I wanna have that security. Even if you have a fully stock car with a pair of big brakes or a set of big brakes, I noticed that it makes it a lot safer to be on the street. Let's get these off and get them on there.
So the brakes are on, they're all bolted down, all the lines are connected. As you can see from this angle, it looks amazing. You can see the big red brakes. They stand out really well on, on a black car. Obviously on a lot, a lot of other cars they will too, but on black it just especially pops. It looks so good. And then with the stock black wheels, it'll probably look really good as well. I'm planning on not modifying it too much. I do want to run the stock wheels for a track day just to kind of have basically a stock car apart from the brakes. But brakes, you know, a lot of people say they don't do much, but for me, not getting them to heat up and being able to be on them a little bit more aggressively is a lot nicer on track. I've been in the situation where my old FRS, like the brakes were getting really, really hot and uh, you're getting a little bit of brake, brake fade and it was a little bit scary uh, if you're gonna be able to stop at this corner and I don't wanna have to deal with that in this car. So first upgrade is uh, big brakes. So now we're gonna go ahead and top off uh, the fluid, get everything bled and then uh, we can put the wheels back on and see how it looks. So one of the other things that's going to help us with brake fade is the brake fluid. Uh, this is DOT 5.1. It's the new stuff. It's made by Liquid Molly. I believe Motul also makes a 5.1 DOT or DOT 5.1. And uh, if you look down here, it tells us right there that they are a lot better for extreme conditions. And it's going to keep the fluid consistent. So that's what we want. So upgrading your brake fluid from your standard DOT 3 is going to help a lot because these are going to be a lot more resistant to heat. The brake fluid itself becomes becomes more of a gas under heat. And since it's not hydraulic at, at that point, you kind of introduce air bubbles into the system. That's why your brakes tend to not be as strong with heat. I, I don't know the 100% the math, you know, I'm not super well versed, but I can understand the concept. So let's go ahead and install the new brake fluid or pour it in. So I got the brakes done, 100%. They are bled. I'm not gonna put the car down yet because I'm thinking about doing suspension. So we'll switch over to that. I might do some wheels too at the same time since the car is in the air and it's like the easiest time to do it. But I guess this will be it for the video. I don't wanna go too crazy. Uh, I don't wanna go boosted just anytime yet. I'll probably end up tuning it in the future with, with like E85. And I think that'll be a very fun thing to do just to keep it NA on track. Hopefully get to like 250 wheel horsepower. And I think if we can achieve that with, you know, full bolt-ons and a tune running E85, I think that's gonna be a great driver's car. It's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be reliable and it'll make sure that we keep the warranty. Uh, so I think that's gonna be the best option for the new car. And this car will be the crazy car where we do all kinds of other weird things. So this is just waiting on parts. So there'll be videos on this shortly, but for now we're gonna get videos done on this so we can get this thing ready to go. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You have a great day.